good. What's your name? First? Omar. I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Cool. Yeah, didn't pick a good place. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so my question, and we'll move it if it gets too bad. My question is, what do you think happens after we die? And, and then I would ask follow-up questions like, how did you get to your belief or your house or your, wherever you're at with that? Well, I grew up pretty religiously. And, um, at the moment, I don't think I really go to church anymore. Uh -huh. um, but growing up, I always believed um, that it'd be like, well, through like the through reading through the Bible, we were taught that there's an afterlife, not exactly in heaven nor in hell, but more like. Uh, eternal life or paradise, whether that's here or a different world. But after we die, depending on, you know, God judging us yeah. but on our actions throughout our entire life, yeah. uh, we either make it to that paradise or not. So not necessarily, I, I personally believe, I will go to heaven if I've been yeah. doing good my entire life, or I'm going to hell if I've been doing bad my entire life. Yeah. That's what you do personally believe? Yeah, I mean, even yeah. till now, that's all I believe, whether whether yeah. it's true or not, you know. <laughs> it yeah. goes through my head, but I mean, if I am asked that question. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you, would you say you believe in God? I would say so, yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, so, like, would you, so wherever you spend the eternity, right? Okay. That's a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty important. Right. You know, right. even though I do believe how we act here and what we do here in this life is important, but it kind of fades in comparison to where we spend eternity. Yeah. So obviously you want to be in heaven. How can you be sure you'll be there? You got to you got to do what God wants us to do. Do the right thing. Show yeah. integrity. You know, I guess it's up. You know, depending on people's religion, it's there's certain steps I guess people take, or some people need to take. Yeah. Well, no, you just gotta be a good person all around. What, what do you think those steps would be? Yeah. I mean, anything from just worshiping God, not just not just like when you're at church, but even outside of that, uh -huh. praying to God. Kind of like um, showing that you're just, you're, yeah, you're not uh, fake. Like, right, right, you're yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, showing you're not a hypocrite. Um, doing the right thing. It's like, yeah. The basics, no stealing. You know. Do you think you would end up there? If, like, God forbid, you were to die today, you wake Truthfully, I don't think so. Me personally, I don't think so. I, 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 so not that I'm doing anything bad in particular. Yeah. I just feel like I can give more. Yeah, you could do better. I could do better. Like, I, I, I think, I'm not dumb. I think God has certain standards for different people. Yeah. And I feel like I can't reach so I'm just not there yet. Well, for no, for no reason. Okay. I guess if you want to blame laziness. A reason, and I'll give Procrastination, it yeah. which is a form of yeah, yeah. That's the reason why I don't make it. There, there you go. Yeah. Does that, does it, do you, uh, does that concern you? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, you don't seem too concerned. I'm not. You know, I, I think, I'm, <laughs> to about to, I'm about to be 28 years old. I've, I've been through ups and downs. Uh -huh. I think at first, as I struggled uh, as an adult, I always blame people. Whether it's my parents, whether it's my 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 surrounding, whether it's God, I always point the finger at someone. But now I'm just grown, I'm growing old enough to know that like any decision I make is for me. Okay. You know, any wrongdoing. You are your own for, person. For some, for, for some, for some reason, I chose that path. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do you think you could change things around? Yeah. yeah. I, I think I can. I mean, I, do you think do you think God will give you time to? I think He always gives us time. Yeah. Well, I believe in that. I mean, we all know people younger than ourselves that have right. already. Right? Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, if you'll give me all the time in the world, I'm going to go and right. live a reckless life because I know I'll have time enough to just change last minute. I don't really necessarily think that way. Yeah. Uh, I think if if I if I want to give myself back to God, like full time yeah. commitment, uh, I want to be right with myself. Yeah. That makes what, sense. Would, what would stop you <laughs> from doing that? There's a lot of temptations, I believe. Um, I just, a lot of distractions, I think, as you yeah. might have said, that I feel like I'm paying too much attention to. Uh, so you know this. Yeah. Right? You're yeah. aware of it. 
is it something you think about often, or is it something that you're just like I, now realizing? Before, yeah, now I'm, I'm more like again, like I said, I'm just kind of just my mind is somewhere else. I'm not, yeah. I don't really pay attention to God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I struggled being happy with myself for uh -huh. a long time. Um, whether that was going to get help or just trying to find a way in my, in my own time to deal with yeah. it. I've always struggled trying to be happy, find a pursuit of happiness. Yeah. I tried religion for years and I felt like that didn't work. I tried um, other paths and that didn't work. Whether it was, whether it was alcohol, whether it was drugs, whether it was, you know, I've always, again, it was always like I try to point the finger at something. And okay. now I'm just trying to be a better person for myself. And the, the, when you were trying religion, was that like when you were younger? And, and yeah. Your parents home yeah. Or no, my, my, my parents, I think, brought me up good. I don't, you know, I, uh, and they did a good job. Like they, we, we grew up more. We grew up Catholic. Eventually, there was a lot of problems with them. My, my parents didn't really went to church mm -hmm. when I was little, little. Yeah. Um, but they grew up Catholic because you know I'm from a Hispanic background. Eventually, they converted to Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, okay. I think I, I believe I was about 12, 13 years old. My parents first made the changes, and then it improved their relationship. Yeah. Couple, it improved the way they, they were raising us. Um, we, I guess spiritually they weren't paying attention to us, um, and then as they changed, you know, that's what they focus on more. Are they, sure are they still pretty? Active yeah, they're still pretty active. So they're, I mentioned they they have these kind of because they're pretty active with sharing yeah. their faith, right? That's I think the question you ask me is questions that they always ask me when I see them. Yeah. Uh, they still live around uh, Chicago area. They live more yeah. north side. So let me ask you this, Omar. If if I was stabbed in the back and I and I know I'm bleeding out I know I'm gonna die within like a couple minutes yeah. right and I was in your position as far as like haven't paid God too much attention lately or been distracted I guess you'd say how could I at that moment make sure I'm going to heaven Just, well, is it possible or is it too late I think for it's possible like um, there's always that story I don't I don't remember names or anything other than just yeah. Jesus. Okay. When at the end, you know, when he was dying and they had put him on the stake. Yeah. Him, he, uh, the two people that were next to him were like, you know, you shouldn't be here. We deserve to be here. We've done bad. You haven't. He's all yeah. like, you know, we'll I'll bring you with in the kingdom. Yeah. So I think to me that shows that, yeah, there is hope for anyone that yeah. repents. And it's all, it's all God. I mean, he makes the call. Yeah. I think that guy repented. The one of, one of them, one of them kept on mocking and ridiculing Jesus. Yeah. But the one, I, and, and it, it even says like both of them were at first, but then one apparently repented in one of the Gospels. And I know what you're talking about. And uh, and I believe, so like the Bible says, believe and uh, repent and believe, right? Yeah. So repent is like, okay, I'm turning to God, I'm turning away from my, my sin, yeah. you know, I'm gonna do things God's way. I think that's what he did. But then he also believed. He said, "Lord, remember me when you're in paradise, right? Or when you're with, when you're in your kingdom." Right. And so he was putting his faith in Jesus. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's re yeah. repent and believe. It doesn't say anything about repent. Well, repentance will naturally result in good works and good deeds, but it's, those aren't what saves us. Just like right. that guy, he didn't even have time to do anything to prove his allegiance to Jesus or anything, didn't have time to build up good works or pay off, you know, like the bad he had done. Yeah. It was all about his faith, trusting Jesus, you know. Now, I know Jehovah's Witnesses, I mean, I'm, I've talked with enough, but I, it doesn't sound like you're too committed to their teaching, but you're familiar with it. I'm familiar, I, I know their stuff, <laughs> I and speak even, to my parents. <laughs> even Catholic, it's like, the temptation for us as people is to say, okay, I think I could be good enough for heaven. I know I'm not perfect, but if my good outweighs my bad, I can, I can, I can get my act together and I can deserve heaven, right? Right. right. And the Bible's real clear, real, you know, real explicit saying, we can't, it's by faith, or by grace we are saved, we, through faith, not of works. So it's a verse that, you know, like in, in Ephesians, not of works, so no one can boast. So it's not like we can get to heaven by being a good person and then and then stand around and say, "Oh, look at me! I'm what a great person I am. I belong here because I deserved it." You know. So the whole point is, none of us deserve it, 
and that's why we need a Savior, Jesus, yeah. you know? So I try to, you know, give people a friendly reminder, you know, put your faith in Jesus, not in your good works, yeah. you know? Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, what would stop you from doing that today? Like, do you feel like you have put your faith in Jesus, or? I feel like, like what, only do, you, do you feel like you know enough about it, or? Oh, yeah, I feel like I know enough about what's right and what's wrong. Not necessarily that I chose to do wrong, or like. Yeah. It almost sounds like it's the repentance part. Maybe. Like, I, I'm, I, I'm going to put it a little bluntly. Eternal life, or my, my sins that I've involved with. Which do I choose? Yeah. It's a choice, you know? Yeah, like, that's true. like uh, what's more important to me? Yeah. And uh, if Jesus died on the cross for our sins, to me it's like a no brainer. It's like, man, he died for me. How can I at least live for him? Not die for him. Yeah. But, you know, that's. Yeah. yeah I, I constantly, you know, especially for my parents, get reminders. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Just remember, remember, whether you're in or not, just remember who's watching. You know, remember yeah. Who, and I mean, who cares now, and you, you're, you're, you've been independent long enough where. Like any decision you make is not their decision. It's not their religion. It's your own. Right, right, right. And uh, so I don't think that's the, you know, an issue. But, yeah. So I just want to give you a friendly reminder. You know, For sure, yeah. Thank you. Of course, of course. And, um, you know, I, I do have concerns about the Jehovah's Witnesses just because they don't believe Jesus is the Son of God. I don't know if you know that. They, yeah, no. I, from what I from what I know, I, I believe I think they believe that Jesus and and God are like separate. Yeah. As, as like, to like, like if God is the creator, Jesus, Jesus is the creation. Yeah. So, I, from what I know yeah. is, uh, I think it's his first angel, his first son. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, he's like yeah, pretty much. And so like second commander. So okay. just. Just to give you a little background, like the, the Old Testament talks about they would sacrifice, you know, animals, goats and sheep for yeah. their sins. And that was like a temporary sacrifice because these are created things, yes. you know, that are just kind of taking our place. But it, it was just temporary. It was a, a reminder of what God was actually going to do. But then when Jesus died in our place, that's what actually God was going to do. And the Bible says God did this so that he could be just and the one who justifies. And what that means is there is a punishment for our sin. Just, justice requires that. But the one who justified us, that made us, um, gave us a way to be forgiven, was God himself. God is the one who is just and the one who justifies. He, He's just like he's, he's the judge. He's the one who gives out the, the sentence for our crimes, if you will. But then he's also the one who justified. Like he, he took our sins himself. So kind of like as our judge gave us the sentence, but then takes on the role of a person yeah. and um, takes on the form of a, of a man, Jesus, and takes our punishment in our place. And um, so to me, that's a that's the greatest news I could ever, yeah. you know, convey to anyone. And yeah. I want to just encourage you to take it seriously, you know, yeah. because um, eternity is at stake, you know. Right. So, well, I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Appreciate Appreciate you. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you something to, to check out, and, and then I'll give you the link to my, um, my YouTube channel. You guys? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Um, So it's right on here, right there. You can see how other people are doing that. Okay, cool. Yeah, no question. Thanks so a lot. Another video. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. All right. All right, well, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. All right, take care. Take care. Thank you.